So hello everybody, welcome back. So right now I wanted to talk to you uh, for a few seconds or minutes actually about uh, some actual experience from a real life game that it's called a survival zombie game and it is a Spanish program. I don't know if they have it in English, but basically in Spain they created this uh, YouTube uh, thing that uh, I don't know how it works exactly, but the point is that uh, the people need to to film their experience as they are being chased by zombies, like people who has been dressed like zombies and stuff. And if they get you, they bat you or whatever, you're out of the game. And uh, well, um, it sort of works like that. So they have to film, they have to work through a lot of things. And then, you know, the, the point is that um, you now have like an idea of what they are preparing. Uh, you need to set up your own clothing and there are goals and there are things. And then you have to, you know, do so many things. And it's just very, very good because it tests you physically and mentally. And it tests your ability for dealing with other teams, dealing with uh, dealing with the stress and uh, orientation things because uh, they tell you where to go, but uh, you have to know how the hell to get there through through your own orientation things, and then you need to find maps and stuff, and it's just very very you know good and. Um, Anyway, before I continue, I wanted to remind you that down below is my email in case that you want to help me out by sending an Amazon gift card. So thank you very much. I really appreciate that one. And anyway, <clears throat> so rule one, apparently, uh, number one, they have a date on it. And number two, they have uh, goals, meaning someone orientates you as to what the rules are, what to do and what not to do. And then there is, there is a specific date, meaning you know when it's going to happen. In real life, you don't have orienteering. You kind of have to make things as you go. The thing is that right now, everybody, when they, know, when they don't know how to do something, they just ask Twitter or Google or YouTube or whatever or Parler, or Facebook, or uh, the WhatsApp groups, or the Telegram groups, or whatever. But if there was a real emergency, and there was no communication, or you ran out, ran out of the battery of the cell phone and stuff like that, then basically your ability to communicate to others through the web is going to go to zero. Zero. And at that point, most people are going to panic and freak because when you don't have your cell phone, it's, it's, it's one of those things that people get really, really, really frightened. And if you have a battery, but you do not have a Wi-Fi, people will go, you know, kind of like hanging themselves from the bridges and stuff because the when you're holding with one hand, you know, one bar from, from the bridge so that you don't fall, the other one will be stretched out to try to get Wi-Fi. And there are going to be so many accidents of people falling from the seventh floor, fourth floor, 11th floor, whatever the hell floors, because people, especially teenage boys, they will go crazy trying to get the freaking Wi-Fi signal and they will think that it's very very easy to just hang themselves out of the window trying to get the freaking Wi-Fi and you're going to see that happening and then you're going to have a lot of people that will actually commit suicide especially kids that are between 8 and 25 uh, yes as as much as 8 a kid who is a year, year 8 year old or 10 year old or 9 year old will commit suicide over you taking their freaking cell phone away. And it is going to happen. Not everybody is going to react the same, but I am telling you that it is a possibility. 
because kids are getting really, really, really attached to their cell phones. And if you don't have them, they are going to go crazy. And then they're going to go crazy for two things. Number one, they can't share their experience with other people, meaning, you know, taking selfies and stuff. But the other problem is going to be, you know, them trying to figure out what to do. If you don't have a what to do or how to do it, you know, you don't have a command, then basically the game is over because you don't know. In this game, they are telling you kind of like what to do or they are even giving you kind of like a specifications and they are even giving you a date. But in real life, you will have no date. You will have no help and you won't have like a, like a, like a theme or, or something is you go to your house, you grab whatever the hell you grabbed, and if you don't have like a bug bag ready or whatever, then whatever the hell you got, that is what you're going to get. And um, like I said, in this game, there is like a gold thing. And um, quite frankly, I have seen this happening even in, in, in gamers, like actual gamers, you know, for PlayStation and, and Xbox and stuff. When they are playing online and you see they, they walk through to some, some uh, video games like Resident Evil or whatever, they get stuck and they are professional gamers. They get stuck. They are like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing or I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. When the game doesn't provide instructions like objective, like in the, in the, in the corner of the, of the channel, it says, yeah, objective, get to this door or get open the door or get this thing done. Then people panic because they don't have objective. And you won't get that. In real life, you won't get an objective. And then at this point, you need to come up with your own plan. And if you don't have very good communication with your family, you're probably going to be doing a plan that is completely opposed to the plan that is doing your family. And if that is the case, you and your family are going to have a fall down very bad. Because if you're thinking about staying so that you can protect your girlfriend or your boyfriend, you know, and your family is thinking, oh, no, hell no, we're leaving. And then, you know, one of your other brothers or sister says, yeah, what about grandma? Yeah, then the plan is over before he was even born. It's over because all of you want to do different things and not one of you is trying to figure out what the hell is the objective. So do the first thing that I'm learning through this, you know, because I'm watching this series because it's very, very interesting because, you know, it's real life. Meaning the people that are there are telling you, I got tired and I'm this and that. I, I, don't, I, I ran out of this. I ran out of that. I, I, I don't know what to do. I'm scared or I'm this or I'm that or I'm negotiating like this or blah, blah, blah. So, you know, you kind of learn from that experience. But the point is that it is like in a contained thing. Now, if you were to have a plan and if you were to have these, uh, you know, communication and objective, everything done, then it is a very, very, very good thing to, to know what other people are doing because it will be the same thing. It will be like everybody needs to get to the church. Okay, so there, there are four teams or five teams or whatever teams and they all have different ways of getting to the church and you can learn from that. See, and it is very good. I'm trying to watch it and I still don't understand entirely the dynamic, but the point is that the first thing that you should do or you should learn about is how the hell to make your own planning and your own objective. Because if you don't have that, then it's like the game will choose everything for you. And if the game, meaning life, life chooses everything for you, then it's like you have no control over you're going left or right or center or back, up or down. You will have no control over that. And if you are a maniac about being in control, you're going to lose it. So it's better to try to have like an objective and an idea. And if the point is, okay, we are just going to roll with it because we are supposed to be alive and that's it. You know, we are going to use a scavenge forever. Yeah, well, that is a plan. 
you know, you saying we're going to scavenge forever, that is a plan. So you need to make sure that everyone in your team knows, knows what the hell is your plan so that you can kind of discuss it. And the plan needs to change and evolve constantly because you have a lot of people involved. You have your son, your kid, your, you know, your, your, your sister, your brother, your father, your mother, whatever. And they all have different ideas of how the hell to get there. And you need to learn how to listen to them and you need to interact with them so that you can make sure that the communication between your group and the dynamics flows. And it is not, you know, uh, going to be a problem. So that is my first thought about this kind of uh, event or thing that it is happening. Quite frankly, I think it will be awesome to be a part like that, you know, because if it is something like that, you might learn a lot and you might end up being with people that, <laughs> you know, might make your day and they will teach you a lot. I think that it will be great. I don't know. Uh, I might change my mind about it, but, you know, I just wanted to share that idea with you. So thank you.